Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we'll see how we can implement horizontal recycle view in Kotlin. So I have created one empty project and as you can see in the activity main we have this text view so I'll just delete it. I'll drag one recycle view over here and I will constrain it horizontal in parent and vertical in parent. I'll give it an ID so recycle view will set its width as 0 dp and height as 0 dp so let's move to the values and instead of instead of dark action bar we will use no action bar theme here this one and status bar color will use black color so now i'll close this and inside the drawables i have added some images of some foods so yeah so to implement recycle view we need three things uh, first is the layout for each item then uh, the data class and then the adapter so in the layouts i have prepared one layout let me just walk you through it so this is the layout that we will have okay so i have one card view and as you can see the width i have provided 300 dp and the height is a wrap contained margin from horizontal are provided 10 margin vertical 12 and the card background color which is black as you can see over here and then card corner radius of 10 dp card elevation of 8 dp and inside that we have one constraint layout and the two uh, two widgets that we have in this constraint layout the image view this one its height is 150 dp and scale type is fit xy and then the text view so yeah so yeah this is so simple uh, i hope you can implement this so let's just move to the project and we'll create one data class first so new kotlin class we'll select data class here we'll name this as a food and inside the food we'll have first parameter as a image so val image or let's just name it as a food image this will be type of int and then val food name this will be type of string so yeah that's our um, data class is ready and then we'll click on the package select new kotlin class and file we'll cre create adapter class so food adapter and inside this we'll pass in the list so food list this will be type of list of food and we'll come back here later first we'll create inner class so food view holder which is a view holder class and inside this we'll pass in the item view so view and this class will inherit from we'll just import view this class will inherit from recycle view dot view holder and in this we'll pass in the item view now here we'll uh, find our ids of our widgets that we have in the layout so we have food image and food name so food image let's just keep it image view and this is type of image view and we'll find its id using this item view so item view dot find your id r dot id dot image view and then val food name tv and this is the type of text view and we'll find its id item view dot find your id r dot id dot text view so yeah now we will inherit this food adapter class from recycler view dot adapter class and in the generics we need to pass the view holder class so food view holder and we'll press alt ctrl l to format the code and then we'll click on the food adapter press alt enter it will ask us to implement some methods and we'll implement these three methods click on ok so inside the on create view holder we need to inflate the layout so we'll create one val and we'll name it as a view this will be equals to layout inflator dot from parent dot context and then dot inflate r dot layout dot each item then the another parameter will be parent the last parameter will be false attached to root and then we'll just return the view holder class which is food view holder and we'll pass in the view so yeah now i'll move to the gate item count and we just need to 
return the list size so food list dot size here and then in the on bind view holder we need to bind the data so for that we'll create one val which will be equals to food list of the position and then we'll just set the data so holder dot food image view dot set image resource that will get from food dot food image and then holder dot food name tv dot text is equal to food dot food name so yeah the adapter is ready now we'll move to the main activity and first of all we'll create few variables so private lead in it where for our recycler view recycler view private lead in it where we need to create one list so lead in it where food list and this will be type of array list because we will be adding the data inside this and its type will be food so yeah and then we'll create one late in it where for our adapter so food adapter and food adapter then we'll call one method here which will be in it we'll create it over here private fun in it inside this we'll find the id of a recycler view so recycler view is equal to find view by id or that id dot recycler view we'll set some properties to a recycler view just as so it has fixed size we'll pass in the true and then uh, we will set the layout manager so recycler view dot layout manager and this time we'll use linear layout manager the first parameter will pass this as a context then recycler view dot horizontal dis direction and then the reverse layout will make it false now we'll initialize our food list so food list is equal to is equal to array list and we'll add some data in, into this food list okay so i have created one uh, add add data to list method in which i'm just uh, adding some data into this food list so as you can see the food uh, model class or data class takes two parameter first one is the image drawable id and then the food name text so inside this as you can see food list dot add food and then the drawable and then the food name so yeah so now we will call this method over here so add to list add data to list then we can initialize our adapter class food adapter equals to food adapter and we'll pass in this food list and then our cycle view dot adapter equals to food adapter so now we will try to run the app and at the end we'll add snap helper to the recycler view as well so let's just try to run the app so our app is installed and as you can see okay so now we will add a snap helper to it so you will notice the change over here so let's just uh, add the snap helper so let's let's create one snap helper first so well we just name it as a snap helper type of snap helper equals to linear snap helper and then snap helper dot attached to recycler view and we'll pass in our recycler view and let's try to run the app again and you'll not notice the change so let me just try to uh, slide this paneer butter a little bit so yeah as you can see so let me just slide this paneer butter a little bit now so i hope you uh, you get the change so again just let me just slide this slide this and yeah this is working fine so yeah we can just uh, move this recycler view we can make this height as a wrap content and it will be in the center so yeah, let's just try to run the app again okay so yeah now it looks cool to me and so yeah that's it uh, for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching